I am here in the backyard of my parents' house. It is, let me see how cold it is. Oh no, there's wind. I hope you guys can hear me. If not, I'll have to put some narration over this. But yes, it's about 46 degrees out right now. It's a little bit showery, so I'm trying to get this done before there's any sort of rainfall. I was inspired by Glam and Gore, who did this in New York, where it is absolutely freezing. So it's not as cold here, but nonetheless, I was very inspired. So let's go ahead and get right into this. I have my brushes that I have here at my parents' house. I have here my on the go makeup stuff as well as this and that's the only two things I'm using. Let's go. So I already primed my face so I don't need to do that anymore. Sorry if it's shaky. Okay, what I have here, the, th the two things that I've been using, this is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream Eyes in light, medium, and fair. I'm gonna go ahead and use the fair first. I don't have a mirror. Oh yes, I do. Thank you, Tarte. go ahead and go in with the fair which is just a little bit lighter for concealing as you guys can tell I don't necessarily do a like full coverage foundation I don't think I really ever have just because oh my god is it raining now please don't rain please don't rain Ugh. and there's the wind but as you guys know I don't necessarily do a ton of full coverage uh, foundation just because I just don't like the caking on and I, it just bothers me and I just I, I guess I can't find a good one that makes it so that I don't have to keep worrying about it all night you know and I'm blocking the camera and then I have my Bella Pierre banana setting powder I'm just gonna go ahead and bake a little Make a little cake. Usually I have music on, but for the purposes of this video, we're just trying to get in and out, like Mikey said on Glam and Gore, which by the way, I'll go ahead and link her video down below. Cake. You're dripping on me. Which, by the way, I'm just wearing just I'm just scrubbing out. I have just jeans and chucks on. Here, starting out really wet. Okay, so I'm gonna let that bake for a minute. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. So I have here, uh, this is, I think it's LA Colors eyeliner pencil in black. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tight line the tops of my eyes. And I have been obsessed with tightlining the bottoms of my eyes with something gold or something sparkly just to give it that oomph without having to do white because I feel like white is a little too not subtle for me, but that's just me. I have here the Trustique Venetian Gold Mini, Mini Shadow Crayon and it's one of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and tightline the bottoms. See what I mean? They're so cute. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but. And then what I usually do, sorry if you guys are moving, is I get a little smudger brush. I Well, it's what I call it. It's a smudger brush, just a little brush like so. And then I have here the Nomad Multi-Perfection Bronzer, but I use this as a highlight as well as a little setting thing. So I take a combo of both of those, and I just go ahead and set the bottoms of my eyes where I just put the Tristine makes it pop out a lot more am I right or am I right I'm just getting over a cold yes another cold the second time in, in a month oh my gosh all right starting to look a little bit a little bit and then what I do is I go ahead and curl my lashes And then I take my usual, I've been going in between the Great Lash by Maybelline and the, I think this is the Lash Accelerator by No Clue, but it looks like this. So I've been going in between, but I feel like I'm liking this a little bit more today. So we're going to do that. And yes, I don't know what happened with the inside of my eyelashes here, 
because it's like it cut I don't know and I don't and it's not my eyelash curlers I don't know what I did to be honest but I've been putting eyelash serum on it so hopefully it'll be normal sorry if you guys can hear my parents turkey they have a turkey roaming around it looks like we're at eight minutes right now done okay the thing that takes the longest in my routine are my eyebrows which I have been using the L'Oreal brow stylist sculpting something it, it cut off but it's one of these dual head things and then my Tarte brush with the two dreamer and multitasker these two combined my fingers are starting to get cold all right hurry this up okay so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is just sweep this sweep 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 oops i know a lot of you guys have been asking for a brow brow routine but i feel like my brows aren't on fleek so i feel like i would be leading it'd be like the blind leaving the blind when it came to that so i don't know if you guys still want to see that go ahead and comment down below but honestly this is as close as it's gonna get it's nothing different from what I'm doing right now you know how they say that one one lash went to school and the other dropped out so this is totally the <laughs> this is totally the eyebrow that went to school this one oh I always have an issue and the light from the Sun is coming through the trees and it's like making for the perfect light. Yas lighting. See, already, it's messing me up. As uh, good as it is going to get today. And I'm gonna go ahead and take Tartlet's Dreamer and Multitasker, these two right here i do a combo i don't necessarily have like a set like you know like oh two dabs here three dabs there two dabs here three dabs there look at my down look at my down i just do as i see fit there is the wind again i i need to get a wind protector like seriously come y'all I'm still getting over a cold, like I said earlier, so sorry about the sniffles. I didn't bring a Kleenex out here, so I'm just uh, being a little kid for now, okay? So don't mind me. I hope to gosh you can hear me. My ah! oh! Save by the sleeve, you guys. Save by the sleeve. That would not have been good. <laughs> Actually, it didn't take me that long to do brows today. Interesting. Maybe because I'm under the pressure because I can't feel my fingers anymore. Probably, probably. Alrighty, I hope that looks okay. Yeah, that looks as good as it's gonna get. And then the next thing that I do is I clean out my under eyes. I think that will be, I forgot which brush I used for that. Hopefully it's this one, I think. <laughs> and I just brush away my bait, a little setting powder. And then I put on another layer of mascara. I'm obsessed and I don't wear falsies. I mean, it works just as well, you guys. And then for all over the face, I do my CoverGirl Clean in 155 Soft Honey that I usually do. No, it's not the oil control one because I, yeah. yeah. Don't forget to do your ears, guys, because you can tell it's just as bad as when you don't do your neck. You know what I'm saying? Is it starting to rain? Please don't rain yet. Give me like five more minutes. I promise I'll be out of your hairs. I haven't been putting too much around my nose because I've just been blowing it like crazy. So we're around 15 minutes and I haven't been browsing much lately. So what I'm gonna do next is blush. Make sure I get everything, man. Ooh, I think that might've, oops. I think this might've been blush, shoot. 
this plush? When did you stop recording? Ugh. My camera randomly does that. It like turns off. I don't know, but I'm recording, so I don't understand why it's turning off. <sighs> if anyone has a Canon G7X, let me know. How do I even, is it, does it time out at like 15 minutes? I don't know. I swear I've recorded longer than 15 minutes and it hasn't timed out. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, well anyways, I have my Laura Mercier Highlight 01 in Matte Radiance Baked Powder. That I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight with. Keep looking at it because I have to keep making sure it's still recording. How annoying. A little bit on my nose. I've been obsessed with nose highlight lately. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My parents have people that are doing construction by their house, so that's what the noise is in the background. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. And then that is the finished product. I need to put on some chapstick because my ish is choked. The last thing that I do is I do mascara, one more coat of mascara. I know this is really bad, but I curl it before I put in my last coat of mascara. Oh my God, that is cold metal. Oh. Lashes. And then the last thing that I do, I actually got this for my birthday from Lizette, my brother's girlfriend. It is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So it has, oh no, it's starting to drip on me. It has like a double like cap thing. So what I do is I take my beauty blender and I just dab it, just like barely touching it. But I just want to make sure it like goes all the way in, you know? And then, as you guys know, I don't necessarily put on lipstick or lip, I, I only put on lip balm, but I didn't bring it out here with me. Take my hair down so I can look a little bit presentable. Yes, I am rocking my natural hair. So that pretty much wraps it up. I hope you guys liked this video. Again, I was inspired by Glam and Gore. I'll go ahead and link her video down below. Uh, let me know if you guys decide to do this. It's not that cold here anymore in Washington. It was cold like almost 28 degrees not too long ago. So yeah. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos by me, click the red subscribe button. It would totally make my day and I will see you guys later. Bye.